morning everybody welcome to putri harbor again but today i'm not here to fish but to get out my unicycle and to try to unicycle around this area okay why am i doing this all right uh, firstly i had this unicycle for almost six years now now i came across a youtuber namely ed pratt who cycled around the world on his unicycle a 36 inches wheeled unicycle uh, and it took him three years to travel around the world with a lot of luggage pannier bags all hung up on his unicycle and you can you can view his uh, channel how he mounted his bags and all of those slots right but now i want to try on myself how difficult is it to travel around the world even to cycle for a few thousand meters without feeling tired because unicycle as you know is not like any kind of bicycle where you can have a rest um, on your bicycle while you are like cruising or going downhill because it has ratchet but on a unicycle when you stop it stops when you stop cycling it stops uh, you may fa fall down if you lose your balance so uh, there's no reason of uh, using a unicycle to travel around the world no other reason but just to fascinate people how you can balance yourself on one wheel without any ratchet uh, because in terms of distances it doesn't make any difference right um, because one uh, if you jog if you put one leg in front of you it only takes about three feet you travel three feet forward uh, on a unicycle <clears throat> to complete one cycle you have to have two steps which is six meters and by using a 20 inch wheels like i'm having uh, right now a complete cycle of it also takes or also brings me six feet forward so it doesn't make any difference if uh, if you are whether you are jogging or if you are riding a unicycle the distance is the same so i can tell you it's just to fascinate people and also one thing is you can rest your back because you are sitting on your unicycle okay because the one thing i learned about unicycling is you have to rest your body to sit on this on the seat on the on the saddle instead of uh, relying on your feet to balance yourself and to keep yourself upright while riding unicycle all right let's try to cycle from here towards the end over there and if i can do it probably i can I will try to cycle again uh, furthermore towards Hard Rock Cafe which is much more scenic and picturesque for you to enjoy the scenery. Let's go! Alright people, we are about to launch on our maiden voyage on this Putri Haba unicycle ride. It's going to take about I think one kilometer of ride uh, until we reach the end of the road over there. <laughs> So I have you on my chest trap. So let's go. All right. So we have to keep steady on our balance and also keep remembering to sit on the unicycle instead of sitting on your standing up on your legs. Right? Because this is called energy conservation. Balancing takes a lot of energy to be done. So, whoa. and I'm wearing my helmet in case of any incidents. Wow! All right. So, let's consider that a warm up. Okay. Probably I've traveled around 200 meters now, and from the feel of it, um, I think I've lost about. 20% of energy so I got get the I got to get used to it and practice my energy conservation much better okay let's go
as you can see pedaling on a unicycle doesn't take you far or much faster it's just a unique feat that really fascinates others if you find that self-satisfactory is not enough and you want to fascinate others Wow, this is so tiring guys. <sighs> Keeping balance on the unicycle is not an easy feat. I can't believe that Ed Pratt did this on his unicycle. But of course, his unicycle has a 36 inch wheels, which um, when he cycle, he will travel much faster and further than I am on my 20 inch wheel unicycle. Alright, so with the help of this tree on to my right is how I mount my unicycle. Okay, let's go guys. Let's keep steady. <laughs> see, I fascinated the family. Not many people can ride in the second seat. My feet are wobbling now. After about, I think we've traveled like 600 meters and my feet are wobbling. Time to have a rest guys. I'll see you in a while. As how fit I would like to be in my life, seems like I'm not yet. <laughs> my feet are wobbly and my heart is like pumping twice the speed that it's doing, probably because of some uh, from nervous, from being nervous, from being embarrassed, probably somebody is laughing at me. Why is this old man on a one wheel trying to unicycle? <laughs> uh, let alone if they knew that riding a unicycle has no added advantage of going further or, or faster. <laughs> and also because keeping a balance on the unicycle and also to travel at the same time, it's not an easy fit and energy conservation energy conservation is a fairy tale at least to me let's go hi sir hi, hi. all right guys let's continue on our epic so-called journey <laughs> balance energy conservation energy conservation got to conserve your energy all right and keeping your balance that's the important thing you want to try sir you want to try no? <laughs> Just had a chit chat with uh, with an audience who's riding his electric moped. Okay. We've reached the end of our road as planned. 
over here right okay let's do a recap i think we've traveled one kilometer away i'm panting for air from there that side of the pier until here the end of the pathway of Putri Harbour so as I've mentioned before I plan to go further to Hard Rock Cafe over there even further more behind this building over here but it's an uphill so let's do some analytics right with the condition of my feet now which is wobbly it's not aching mind you I keep fit and I jog every week for three to four kilometers at one go but still the fitness is not there yet for me to travel uh, far distance on my unicycle let alone traveling uphill there sorry yeah sir how are you <laughs> Yeah, just. Because you, how long eh, started? How long? How long I, I started? I learned it. So guys, after an after a complete analysis of my journey, I'm I'm pretty sure I cannot make this tip. I cannot make this climb because it's too it's too steep. So what I plan to do is to walk while resting my legs, which is wobbly less wobbly now after some couple of seconds of uh, resting so i'm gonna walk my unicycle while resting my feet and when we reach on top over there where the grounds are level and smooth we're gonna start back our journey towards hot rock cafe and gentlemen your dearest Leo the Clown will attempt a very dangerous feat which is crossing a big traffic light intersection of Putri Habar. Let's go! <laughs> I'm getting crazy but I'm going to finish this. I'm gonna take this as a mission. Crazy you. Alright. Look to the left. Make sure there are no cars there. And he has done it! Yay! Alright guys, I've placed you all on my helmet, on top of my helmet now, so let's continue on our epic journey towards Hot Rock Cafe! You can see it as a symbol indicating this, is, this lane is for bikes, bicycle, two wheels, but I'm on a unicycle, a single wheel device. Not sure whether they allow this. <laughs> we'll see. Wobbly legs again. Okay, guys, got to have some rest here, right? Uh, if you are a subscriber of my channel and if you've watched my videos before, I did have a half bike before, so 
It's something in between a bicycle and a unicycle. A bicycle has two wheels. Unicycle has one. But the unicycle has like one and a half. One 20 inch wheels in front and two 6 inch uh, diameter wheels on the rear. For the people of half bike in Europe, if you are if you are watching this video, I uh, just want you to know that there are the the joy of riding a half bike is uh, undeterred and uncomparable. So I wish my my mission is to teach Malaysian over here to enjoy riding a half bike. My point is the one that I bought was made in China, and it's like a one-time deal if you buy it if it's spoiled you just throw it in the rubbish uh, but yours in europe the original half bike it has uh, proper spare parts and it does have a, a proportional gears to help you to ride on, on a steep but uh, if you could like um, courteously and uh, be kind of generous to give me uh, one of your half bike I'll gladly be your ambassador to promote your half bike here in Malaysia to teach people that half bike is not only for a mode of transportation but also to keep fit because half bike teaches you balance the natural way to stand and walk to travel and uh, standing up keeping upright and at, at the meantime it is very easy and simple to store in your car because it's foldable uh, also the same as my unicycle that's why the one thing that I learned from that I like from unicycling is that it is easy to bring anywhere that you wish it to be I think I've had enough rest so it's time to continue right guys let's go again towards Hot Rock Cafe got to breathe got to breathe Breathe normally and cycling must be done liquidish right in a very liquidish and continuous way so that you travel while resting at the same time Came across an uneven road, right, guys? I will surely trip if I keep it on this pavement here. So, we passed that obstacle. Now, with the help of this partition on my left, onwards. Onwards we go! Right. Ah, uh, another obstacle, guys. Anyway, not to say that I'm cheating. I don't want to cheat. But the road, the end of the road to reach Hard Rock Cafe, is not 
even start sports. So, we're here! Right at the building where Hat Rock is. Right then, we have to take the stairs. Downwards! Go! Which is like about 15 kilograms heavy. Now I'm doing a weightlifting exercise. Okay, now one thing I'm not sure about this place. Uh oh, oh, yeah, there are steps. I thought it's going to be uh, just a dead drop. One thing I'm not sure about this place, as I mentioned before, not sure whether the guards allow me to ride my unicycle here. But if I got chased away or uh, warned by the security, that would be much more interesting to you guys, isn't it? <laughs> okay, just a couple of stairs, of steps more on these stairs, and we're done here. Oh, that's a drop there. Would I like to spoil my unicycle riding that? Okay, nice. In front of us is the Hard Rock Cafe. So it's going to be a picturesque trip for you guys. While I do all the works, you guys can relax, sit back, enjoy while I do the work. Onwards we go! Don't forget to look left and uh, to, to look right, guys. That's the famous Hard Rock Cafe emblem, the guitar. Another skip. I don't know whether I can try this. Let's try. <laughs> Lost my balance there. Eh? Right, let's finish up. Oh, this metal rails on my left is freaking heavy, guys. I mean, hard. <laughs> okay, let's go. Atelier Cafe on our right. Now we can have coffee, maybe later. have espresso coffee teas we also sell tablewares kitchenwares okay dear viewers if you have any idea how much calories I burned after unicycling for about almost two kilometers away, please do comment down there. But before you be able to comment, you have to subscribe, right? If you wish to, I'll really appreciate it. Okay, that's another like. 100 meters away to reach the end Morning! Morning boss! How are you fine? Fine! Very fine, huh? But still... Oh. Still uh, surviving! Oh. <laughs> okay! 
right here. I deserve another victory dance. I'll be right back. Okay guys, as you've seen just now, I just taken a Red Bull 25% less sugar and also the 100 plus active with vitamin B. Uh, at the end of the road just now, when I reach over there and after exactly when I did a victory dance, I see white dots. <laughs> so that's my cycle down there and we are here in my news. A convenience store where we can get cool things not in terms not only in terms of the temperature but also the fancy things that they have and which I need which is the Red Bull and the 100 perspective because as I've mentioned just now I saw white dots and I said to myself that's it guys before anything happened to me I have to stop. So, I don't know whether I'm going to stop forever on this uh, unicycle feat of mine. But uh, I think not, at least not for long distances, right? Okay, So this is the uh, kind of a small stitch for the promotion of Hari Raya and I got shut down by the security <laughs> no cycling here because the sign is hidden behind this stage over here riding of bicycles, skateboards, scooters and personal mobility devices of any kind on the promenade so it's not allowed but it doesn't say unicycle <clears throat> that is why I rode my unicycle here because it didn't say unicycle right <laughs> okay so just to update you guys we should be happy because the white dots or the white lights has disappeared But the strange thing is, the strange thing is, they don't allow to ride bicycle over here, but they have bicycle racks. So I think the idea is for cyclists, cyclists, to just ride to the top of this uh, place over here, right there, and then they drag their bicycles down here and put it on the uh, bicycle racks and then they can have their drinks and chill out with their friends right and strictly no bicycles or any sort of wheel vehicles over here <clears throat> maybe they will allow senior citizens with their mobility oh 
but it does say mobility device, right? Mobility device is also the ones that senior citizens use to move around. Ah, so probably that is not allowed to. Alright, so now I have to walk back to the place, to the point where we started just now. It's about two kilometers away. It's a good exercise, right? But first, we have to climb these many many numbers of steps to reach the top road I mean the road at the top <laughs> look at those steps so we're back to the place that I started and just to make an outro and just to say thanks for joining me on this epic journey so-called uh, by the way the tires spoiled just in time. Look at that, it's bulging over there. Because it's been years since I used this. It's time to get it fixed and uh, refurbished. So, I would like to say thanks for joining me today. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Bye bye.